Gord, uh, you know, one of the uh, important things is to, for Chimo is to get the best quality potatoes. And uh, today we're uh, here at your harvest and we're really excited uh, that we're uh, able to see these potatoes come right out of the ground. And we know these are the ones that are going to go into pierogies. Yeah, it's, yeah, harvest time is an exciting time for us. And this year we're looking forward to a big crop. We haven't uh, gone into this field yet with our potato equipment, but uh, by hand digging, it looks like a promising crop. Maybe later today we're going to see some uh, the harvester picking up some of the potatoes. Uh, uh, today uh, you got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people here. It's pretty exciting. A lot of uh, it's kind of an uh, you know, important time for you guys, and it's probably uh, uh, makes you, I guess, a bit ex excited that it's finally going to happen after waiting for it for the whole year. Yeah, it's like Christmas. It's the uh, best time of the year for farmers. Um, uh, it's a rush period. I mean, uh, we go 12 hours a day. Yeah. We've got a window of about a month to bring a crop in right, right. and uh, bring it into storage and we'll store them for um, uh, six to seven months yeah. under controlled conditions. This is your uh, family, right? Your family owns this uh, this land? This is your land? Yeah. This, yeah. yeah this, we, my grandfather actually started uh, uh, back in the 50s and he made a living off of raising potatoes here and my father and now myself so it's been a, it's 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 what we do I guess yeah, for potato yeah. people right, right, right. <laughs> pretty important I guess you know to uh, uh, to have potatoes processed here in the province uh, for our farming communities I think that's it's important to us I know at GMOs uh, that we get the best possible quality potatoes that we can but I don't think a lot of folks realize that uh, how many people are involved in getting the best quality uh, products to their uh, table Right here in Edmonton is some of the best farmland right next to the North Saskatchewan River. And that's one of the reasons I think it was immigrated to begin with, why they started uh, settling here, I mean. Um, uh, yeah, we're about uh, 30 minutes from uh, Chimo's, which uh, makes our delivery uh, nice and short. Um, no, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been a good experience raising potatoes here, and I'm hoping that uh, uh, the tradition continues. Right. The, the, it seems to me that the demand for uh, potatoes is growing. Uh, when times are tough, it's, right. a, it's a cheap staple food, yep. and it's a healthy food, right. and it's, it's you know it's been here forever. And uh, our fresh market is uh, at this time actually growing instead of shrinking, yeah. where where some of the more expensive foods uh, yeah. during the recession time yeah. seem to uh, people seem to stay away from them. Well, I think we can confirm that with pierogies too because we're seeing uh, during this these tough period of time people have only so many dollars in their pockets and so they're making choices like potato products and uh, you know that's maybe uh, uh, just a necessity and maybe when we were speaking about it earlier we come from an immigrant community so we don't have a lot of money so that's what we had to do. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, exactly. Okay, well we're, um, we're digging uh, four rows at a time and uh, it takes about half a mile to uh, fill up a truck. Um, the, potato, the harvester so, um, sieves all the uh, soil out and uh, takes the potatoes and the clods and, um, and the rocks into the uh, load, which is mostly potatoes. And then that from there, we'll take that into storage and right. um, uh, sort out the clods and the uh, rocks. Rocks, yeah. Um, 